Asking a lot of questions before I ever, before I write a note, before I, I say, oh, this is how the music should sound like or anything. I have to ask a lot of questions. Like what? For example, it's about the project and, and what the director or the, the producer has in mind. And so I have to ask, what's your vision for, for the music? What's your vision for the scene? Uh, and usually, uh, People don't talk about the music in terms of major, minor, rather, you know, this scene is scary, this scene is aggressive and, and, and dark or, or happy, romantic. And so I have to ask a lot of questions uh, what their vision is or um, where they want to go with, with the scene, not, not specifically the music, because that would be my, my job. And so, so that I can start composing according to what the director is looking for, or the writer, everybody involved in the, in the project, music supervisor. Um, I think that's the best approach. And, and composing music that, that comes from everybody's vision, rather than composing music that I think is, is suitable or right. Because what I think it, it might be right might not be what the director wants. And so, um, you know, if, if the director says that this should be sad, doesn't necessarily have to be sad music. Doesn't necessarily have to be sad music. Or if there's a, a, a car chasing scene, doesn't have to be fast paced music. It could be slow motion kind of music that works well with the dialogue, that works well with the uh, sound effects, you know, if, if there are a lot of gunshots and screaming, I can't add a lot of precaution, you know, because do, 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 you're going to conflict with, with whatever you, we, you already have with the, the sound effects and the dialect. And um, so it's a combination of, of, of factors. Asking a lot of questions is what really works for, I think, for everybody, but for me. So that I start, once I start composing, then, then it's a very organic pro process. It's very fast. I know where I'm going, but I, I need to have a map. I need to know that I'm going, you know, north, south, east. Once I know where I'm heading towards, then it's, it's fast, you know, and the musical ideas come to my mind really fast. But I need to know what everybody's idea and vision is. I don't need to wait uh, for the final edit. Um, it's, it's more having the, the conversation with the director, having uh, that communication. Um, I, can, I can compose music from reading a book. You can, you can just see it, you know, from a conversation with, with a friend. You already know what the, the mood is, what, what the feeling is. And so it helps. It's great to, to watch the, the footage. Um, I've composed music for TV that I don't know what the, the the scene is or anything. I just know the mood. I just know what kind of scene is, and and I come up with with music. And um, I just need to to have a vision and, and and a clear, you know, vision and communication with with the person in charge. It can be the footage, unedited. It can be script. It can be um just a, a a brief on on what's happening what's happening you know um, this person is sad this person uh, wants to cheer that person up or both of them are sad and they're walking they're in a park okay we know daylight nighttime they're in the city they're by the sea and so um it's like the DP, you know, and the, and the director, they don't, they don't have the footage, they have it in their heads. And they come up with the visual, same thing, I think. I don't have the footage, but I, I, once I know the story, once I know what's happening, then I can, I can see it somehow. I, that's why I ask questions, you know, how, what are the colors? You know, is, is it dark? Is it bright? Is everybody moving fast? You know, are there children there? Or is everybody really sad and, and, and the background is, is gray? That helps. That helps. Not knowing what they want. I'm not talking about music. 
I'm not talking about knowing, hey, Eric, G major here. I'm talking about what the director wants, you know. I try to work with somebody, um, and they asked me, you know, I think this girl's sad. Why don't you compose something? And I asked lots of questions, but they didn't know what they wanted. So I composed something that I thought was right, and I had the footage. I had everything edited. And they said, that doesn't really work out. Why don't you compose something else? Now, I spend my time composing something else. I don't think that's right either. And I asked, what do you want? I don't know. <laughs> At the end, they didn't use my music. And um, I was actually happy not to do anything else with the project because if you don't know what you want, I don't know how to make you happy. I don't know how to give you what you want because you don't know what you want. Uh, that That's... I think that's it. You know, it's do you want to go to Disneyland or you want to go to the beach? What do you, you know, can take you to the most beautiful beach. And if you don't, that's not what you really want, then it's not going to make you happy. Uh, but that said, you know, it's it's not communication. It's all communicate. That's why I have to ask questions. Mainly, it's not musical. It's mainly mood. Mood and, and, and goal. What's your goal? You want to make people happy, sad with this. Because it can be a sad scene or it can be a happy scene, but they might want the opposite, you know. They might want, you know, scary uh, music for, for, for a scene that doesn't, doesn't look scary. Just because, you know, just somebody walking and they want something scary. I see somebody walking, I don't see anything scary, but they want to set the mood for something that's going to happen. So knowing what they want and i'm sure you know any director knows what he or she wants before they start shooting before you know from the script so by the time the composer asks a question they already know hey i know this seem happy this this scene this is not scary at all but i want you to go a little bit scary because there's something that's going to happen afterwards and so knowing what they want again that's the same principle that i that I just said, knowing what they want, where they want to go with, with the scene. And so it's not so much about the music, talking about the terms, talking about musical terms, but more, you know, what colors you want in terms of music, what, you know, what direction you want to take. Mm -hmm.